guys, it's Abby and Renee, and we are members of Five Dinners in One Hour. And tonight I'm going to be prepping some lunches with you guys. Um, this is super fun for back to school. I've done this for I don't know how many years that we've eaten a long time. The cold lunches, <laughs> but these are a lot of them are super super kid friendly and super easy. So when you're hopping on, tell us where you're coming from. Is that the spill a little bit right now? Yep. Also, you can just say hello. You guys, um, hello, if you Tracy. if you grab the combo membership, mm -hmm. so five dinners one hour is a prep ahead meal system. They're gonna help you get dinner on the table, super easy every night. But they also have cold lunches, and that's what Abby's gonna be doing tonight. And that's great for back to school. You can use the code ten off, and it will get you ten dollars off the memberships mm -hmm. there's a classic a clean eating those are 60 recipes instant access Ac access oh my word and you get two of insects and you get two i was not think of that you get 20 <laughs> new ones last day of every month which is coming up and then the combo membership you get the classic clean eating and so many more recipes plus you get 170 cold lunch recipes which yes. Abby's doing some cold lunches tonight. So those are perfect for back to school. So if you grab the family combo, you will get the cold lunches, you will get the clean eating, you will get the classic, you will get 60 new recipes the last day of every month. And it's like the whole, everything wrapped up mm -hmm. into one. Yeah. So classic and clean eating, you can grab for $26 using the code 10 off. The family combo, which has the 170 cold lunches, um, you can get for 45 with the code 10 off. And it is a quarterly membership. Alright, so the two lunches that we are doing today is the banana and Nutella rolls and the strawberry banana parfaits. So, both are delicious. Both we've had. I've had, I say we, Colton and I. And the only thing I had to buy for my lunches this week is yogurt. We always have fruit. And with lunches, it's really easy to swap out stuff. Like, mm -hmm. we're supposed to have, like, cinnamon pretzels. I have this birthday popcorn from Sam's Club, so I'm going to be using that instead of cinnamon pretzels. It's just stuff that you can do like that. So, I will start. So, I use, <clears throat> I use five dinners in one hour every week to get my minute. You just have a hard time today. To get my dinners on the table. I was trying to say supper and dinner at the same time. Mama rolls. Get my dinner on the table every week. I use five dinners one hour. Last week, I did it um, three dinners at a serving size of three, two dinners at a serving size of six for $62, which I think is a bargain. And I haven't done it for that cheap in a long time, but I usually do ser serving size of six yeah. for all the recipes. So with five dinners one hour, the link is in the bio. It is on sale. Um, you get to pick the dinners, you get to pick the serving size, it's going to generate your grocery list off the dinners you picked and serving size. So you guys, all you do is go to the website, all the recipes are right there, you simply tap on the ones that you want to prep ahead. There's a picture for every recipe and there's a little plus sign underneath every recipe. You simply tap that plus sign for all the meals that you want to prep that week. You can do it for your lunches, you can do it for your dinners, Abby loves doing it for her lunches. It's going to give you how to prep it and how to store it right over here. Super simple directions. Anybody can do this. It's also going to have the ingredients right here in the middle. And whatever serving size that you chose, it's going to change those amounts to fit perfectly for your prep. So you're never going to wonder, what should I do to do 12? What should I do to do 15? What should I do if I just want to serve myself just one? It's going to automatically adjust these amounts on the ingredients on every single recipe that you choose the serving size on. And it's super easy to choose the serving size. It's just a little toggle right there on the, you can do it when you pick the recipe or you can do it after you pick the recipe. They make it so simple. So not only will you get your, how to prep them, how to store them, how to cook them, your exact amount on your ingredients. You're gonna get your family's customized grocery list off the recipes you picked and the serving size. So you know what that means? No wasted groceries. So these are the sides to our banana and Nutella rolls. 
some raspberries, blueberries, and this was supposed to be um, pretzels, cinnamon pretzels, but I had this birthday cake popcorn that I need to finish off the rest of, so I'm using that instead. Tracy, hi Lisa. So these two hi Brandy so from Kentucky. Awesome user with a lot of numbers. Yes, you caught us live. So if you guys haven't, go ahead and hit the follow button and turn on your notifications so that you can see other members go live. Also, this is the banana and Nutella rolls. It does tell you in um, the ingredients that you can use peanut butter or Nutella. I love that. A lot of the recipes give you tips right there on there. Like, um, especially with the cold lunches. Yes. If you have like a shrimp recipe, it'll be like you can switch it out for chicken. Uh, any of the proteins, you can pretty much switch out to meet whatever you guys have in your freezer or whatever your family likes. Hi, Betty Lou. Hi, the Baker Homestead from Kentucky. Cheryl said they just have the beef Wellington cups. That sounds delicious. Sarah said, I love that they have an app. It makes it so easy for her. I'm, uh, Ash said, it's the best program created, been a member for almost six years. Oh my goodness, welcome, Ash. I don't know that I've seen you on here, but welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, six-year member, that might be longer than me. We might be at the same amount of time, but that is fantastic. Ash, could you tell us some of your favorite recipes? Because I'd love to know. And I'd love to know what your favorite part of the program is. This might look like a lot of peanut butter to some. Colton's obsessed with yeah, peanut butter. He loves peanut he butter. He made like a whole jar a day. So I'm loading these suckers up. April's playing dead back there. With peanut butter. April, what are you doing? <laughs> they can't see her. They can't see her. Um, Bet PB Nutella banana would be delicious here. Um, looks like J. G. J. Gibson. I wonder where you are located, J. Gibson. Where are you at? User with a lot of names. I prepped last week from all bundles past week. I got to remember to do that more, right? So if you are a member, um, you have access to bundles. Obviously, they are on sale right now. my bananas Just let you know. needed to be used. That's why I picked this um, lunch. Welcome, Jay Gibson from East Tennessee. I bet you're um, having this hot weather like we are. It's like 100 degrees outside. It, like, takes your breath away. And a nice thing about these lunches, it will say, like, this one. It says, like, slice if desired. Since my bananas are Tiny. on their last leg, I'm not going to slice them so that they last in the fridge. A little bit longer. Yeah, like, if these were, like, ripe. Wait, is that the one I'm thinking yeah. of? Like, if they were, like, greenish yellow, I would cut them not up. Not right, not right. Whatever that word is. Unright. <laughs> hard time to Unright. <laughs> the opposite of right. Probably unright. Since they're at, like, their very ripe spot, I'm not going to cut them. Plus, it'll be easier to eat this way anyways as an adult. If it was a kid, I would definitely cut them up. Usually, I do cut these up, but um, my bananas are almost ready for banana bread. <laughs> yes. Uh, now, Abby is using these lunches for her husband, but you guys, back to school is coming up. These are yes. perfect for back to school. Tell us um, if your kids are going back to school, and uh, is it next month? I think my kids, my kid, I, got, kid. I got one left. I, got, I mean, technically, I am. I have three kids, uh, and August, I should know this, guys. 21st. 21st is our back to school you. day. Uh, Cheryl said she thinks she likes them better uncut. Oh, someone said put, cut them and put them in lime juice. So these are super helpful, um, especially last year, the last two years I've subbed. I was a sub in school, and this year I'm going to be a para. So I like to bring these because then I don't have to pay for a lunch. I have to pay for less than... <laughs> Than what it would be to make my own lunches. Here, Sissy. You want a snack, a snack? Come here. That's 
my little one. Oh, leave April Shifter. Twin boy is going into two. Um, the comment went away. I'm sorry. I'll see Grand time. twins go back Monday. Can't have peanut butter in our school. Yeah, they, um, this had the option for Nutella, too. I know that also has hazelnuts, so some schools don't allow nuts at all. You can always use um, sunflower spread. That's what a lot of schools use. Yeah. Well, if you they're trying yeah. to stay away from nuts. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. yeah. I get that now. Sorry about that. Yeah, some schools don't allow peanut butter at all. Um, our schools are out here as long as it's your own lunch and you're not sharing, they don't care. So do you guys is are you guys packing lunches for your kids or are you are you guys doing school lunches? What are you guys doing? Tell me in the comments. Are you packing them? Are you doing school lunches? So this is our first lunch. This is the <laughs> banana Nutella rolls. Got blueberries, some raspberries, some flavored popcorn, and our roll ups that I did not cut. And ours has peanut butter in them. Kitty says, love the box. The box is from Walmart. Sistema. I did not see them today, though, when we went. I was trying to look to see if they were in the back-to-school section again this year. Doreen said that she packed lunches for her. Packing, we, where are those containers from? Walmart. Or uh, Amazon. Let me show you the brand name. Can you guys see it? It'll be backwards for them. Sorry if that's backwards. I'm going to spell it out for you. S-I-S-T-E. M-A. I, I love these containers. I bought them last year on back to school shelf. Right. They're like they have their spaces in here are so much nicer for like adult portions. Yes. Heidi said she is packing. Amanda said my kids start August 14th and I only do two lunches that I pack. Yeah. Somebody's okay now that she's got some trail mix. But it's not nut mix. Guys, she's been eating all day. Oh, she's sharing it. She is sharing it. Tracy said, my husband's back in the office next week. First time in three years. Holy moly. Uh, that's going to be like a brand new start for him. Again, my these are supposed to be sliced. Since my fitting us on their last leg, I'm just putting it in half to have it in both. Tracy and her daughter uh, the week after that. So Tracy's going to be all up in lunches. She wants some blueberries, Mom. Here, hold on. Come on, I'll show you. Here, come on. Some banana. There. And then this one, I forgot to tell y'all which one I'm making right now. This is the strawberry and banana parfait. Um, Colton, not a strawberry person, doesn't like all, all the seeds. So I always do blueberries for him. So. He, we're both picky eaters. He's just a little bit more picky when it comes to stuff like that. Got you what guys. time? It is, we're on Central Standard Time, so it's uh, 6.45 here. Hi, Rita. And since this is um, a yogurt one, got some granola that I've had for forever. Don't worry, it's not expired. We just eat yogurt. Lisa, I feel like that's a common thing. Lisa says, depends on the school lunches menus if they like it. Mostly packed, though. Picky kids. Lisa, I get that. And I think that's across the board. You guys tell me that. Do you guys do both? Like, um, look at the school menu and then you pack accordingly? I feel like that is a lot across the board. When I was subbing, I would do that. Yeah, Abby would, like, pack I'd lunches. be like, oh, there's chicken and things. I am not taking a lunch today. <laughs> yeah, she would do that. And then, um, woo! It calls for Melba Toast. We never can find any yeah, that Melba Toast fancy. around here. I don't know where that is. So anytime we have that, I always just um, substitute it for graham crackers. I don't think they're very equivalent, but they get eight, so that's what we do. <laughs> Sarah said, my son would love for me to pack daily, but my life won't allow that. LOL. Well, these are good in the refrigerator for, I mean, I've had them last for a whole week before, so. Yeah, and then someone also said, you can, um, you can put lemon juice on it. There's something else you pineapple. can put on it. Pineapple on it, and they don't turn brown. Yeah. You could also leave the rind on it and just cut it mm -hmm. in half and leave that, I don't know what's called, the peel. Peel. I mean, mine, mine were just on their last leg. Melba toast would be in the baby section. Uh, math. math. 
Thank you very much, because I've never ch I've never checked check the baby, baby section for it. We'll have to check next time. I don't know. We also live in a very rural town, so a lot of stuff we have to sub. Doreen said she's seen the when it comes to like when it comes to like little things like that. We usually sub. I think a couple times I, instead of the Melba toast, I, they have like these little little mini bagels. Yes. And I get mm -hmm. those a lot too to sub for those. So, I know it's really weird. Colton will not eat normal strawberries, but strawberry yogurt. It doesn't have the seeds in it. And that must be it. It doesn't have the seeds. But. Yeah. So, if you guys want to try this out for your family, grab the code 10 off. And this is going to look like a lot, but this is for a grown man. <laughs> Just going to pour that out there. Because this is going to, he'll eat this all. I promise you. And uh, the code is 10 off. The link is in the bio. It's 5 one hourcom The classic and clean eating. Instant access. I can't. Why can't? Why can't I say that works today? Okay. Instant access. Woohoo! Nailed it. Um, of the clean eating and classic, sixty recipes each. Right now is the best time to plug into the program um, because you get three months at a time. So if you join mm. right now, you will get June, Jul no, May, June, and July. You get May, June, and July. Hold on, let me finish this real quick, and then. The last day of July, you're going to get August. So if you sign up right now, you're going to get May, June, July, and then next week you'll get August. So you'll get four months in just a few a few days. Okay, go ahead, Cece. So this is the strawberry banana parfait. So all this stuff will go into this yogurt. It'll be a, it'll be a parfait. It'll be a parfait. So that's why it looks like it's a lot of yogurt, but this is a lunch. So I promise it's not. It just looks like a lot, but when you look at it this way, you can tell it's not. Is the banana okay after a day? Yes. Yes. If, I mean, yes. And if you're um, concerned, like if it's like one like this and you're concerned, you can always have it to where you just grab the banana yeah. on your way out. I've, I've never had, out. I've never had a problem with bananas. I just am doing it this certain way because my bananas were... Yeah, otherwise you just cut them in half usually. Yeah, I do. But this time, my bananas are on the last leg. Because usually Leva eats them all, but she has been wanting blueberries lately. Okay, so I want to answer a couple questions that um, some people that are sitting on the fence or just watching, or they want to meal prep, but they're just like not sure. Like it might sound overwhelming, like prepping all your dinners one hour a week. So five dinners one hour, you prep all your dinners one hour a week. You're in the kitchen prepping your dinners. Not all day Sunday, not all day Saturday, one hour. I do mine on Saturday night, so if you want to catch me here tomorrow night at 8 o'clock, I'll be prepping five dinners, serving six people. So you take one hour of your week, you prep your dinners. This is, this is my trash. That's it for your lunches? I mean, if I use the actual knife, this would be it for my dishes. Yeah. But that's it. And then uh, a lot of people ask, what do I need to get started? How do I get started? What kind of stuff do I need? If you need the website, five dinners, one hour, make sure you grab the code. Abby, grab the code. Oh. Grab the code 10 off so that you can get started today, tomorrow, this weekend. Because once you sign up, you have instant access. Whatever you sign up with, that's how you get onto the website. So use those same credentials. There is a red tab at the top that is going to be a lifesaver. It's called Website Tutorials. You can watch everything about the website in about five minutes. Tells you how to build your menus, mm -hmm. how to save, how to have your favorites, everything you need to know about the website so that you can get started tonight if you wanted to. And what you need to get started, you probably already have on hand. You need a basket or a bowl that you can put a liner in because this is going to be your trash can. You don't have to have this, but man, it's going to save you running back and forth yes. to the trash can. Especially if you have like a heavier trash can. Mm -hmm. Ours is a double duty. So just have a bowl or a basket to the side so you can throw all your trash in it. You're going to need some measuring cups, you probably already own, some Ziploc bags or containers to put your prepped food in, a knife, a cutting board, right here is our cutting board, a can opener, and a marker to write on your Ziploc bag so you know what's in them and then what date you need to eat them by. Whatever date is on that package of meat in the grocery store is going to be the same date on your Ziploc bag or your container in your refrigerator. So that's really all you need to get started. Mm -hmm. You can start prepping your dinners. I'm telling you, it is a game changer. Prepping all your dinners one hour, one night a week is a game changer. You have the rest of the week. You can come home, pull out your ready-to-go dinners, 
and pop them in your oven, skillet, crock pot, air fryer, grill, instapot, you pick it, um, you get to pick the dinners, you get to pick the serving size, so no wasted groceries. It's what are you yelling about? I think she wants cookie. It's going to get let you pick your dinners, let you pick your serving size, generate your grocery list off the dinners you picked and the serving size, so no wasted groceries. How many of you guys, tell me in the comments, you go grocery shopping, you come home, you go to put your groceries up in your fridge, and you're like, oh, these tomatoes went bad, gotta toss that out. Salad kits, gone, gotta toss that out. Oh my goodness, I did not get to this steak I thought I was gonna get to. Gonna have to toss that out, just to put up your new groceries. Um, Leva, she's two. She's yeah, mine. She just turned two. Um, I have the classic and the cleaning in bundle, but I'm not liking the recipes that are available. Hmm. So you have the, you have the combo. Just a chance to, it's more kid friendly. What would you suggest to change to? Oh, she has, she has a bundle? I'm confused on what she has. Okay, so the classic is more kid friendly, picky yes. eaters, um, um, regular, I would say regular food mm -hmm. um, that your family's probably used to if they're eating out once or twice, three times a week, they're probably used more to the classic. Um, the clean eating is low carb, lots of veggies, but don't worry, that classic also has veggies. So that's going to have veggies for you too. So um, the classic is kid friendly. Like oh, the bundles. bundle would be a kid-friendly bundle. Oh, okay. Which might be what she's asking. Yes, I know. She's already two. I know, right? Uh, I'm 23. I'm a little bit older than that, guys. I'm just a little bit older than that. See. So someone's asking about a bundle. I mean, I always think the breakfast and dessert bundles are a good go-to. And I like the one pan bundles. But I'm telling you guys, if you are on the fence, if you're getting ready to start back to school, if you are um, been waiting right now, right toward, towards the end of the month is the best time to join because you will get May, June, July, and August next week. This is the last day of the month. You get the 20 new recipes. So you can get all that within the next couple of days using the code 10 off for $26. That's like a couple dollars a week, guys. A couple dollars a week. They're going to let you pick your dinners, let you pick the serving size. They're going to give you your customized grocery list. This is like instant. The recipes are at the website instantly. You have unlimited access to them. You can prep every day if you wanted to. You can prep in the middle of the night if you wanted to. And once you start going, and um, I would say within the first month, you're going to have a lot of the spices. You're going to have a lot of the stuff that you can mm -hmm. shop your pantry, refrigerator, and freezer and have a lot so you're not having to buy a whole lot like this week i mean if i wouldn't have substituted this for pretzels but all i had to buy was like this two dollar thing of yogurt yep for my lunches this week um after i shop the pantry freezer and refrigerator because they give you your customized grocery list you shop your pantry freezer and refrigerator then you can get in and out of the store super fast because they categorize it or you can hop over and do your online shopping. After I shop my pantry, freezer, and refrigerator, the most I have to purchase is about 15 items. And most of the time, it is the proteins. Yeah. A lot of the olive oil, salt and pepper, water, minced garlic, dried onion, um, corn, green beans, mozzarella cheese, cheddar cheese. A lot of that stuff I already have on hand. You might not have all of it on hand, and sometimes I don't either, but just to depend. So make sure that you're shopping your pantry, refrigerator, and freezer to hop over to your online I shopping. I prep for three, and I usually, I think at most I buy like five things. The for grocery list is life changing. I agree, because the grocery list takes all the stress out. All you do is tap on the recipes you want. It automatically generates a grocery list. You never have to write a grocery list again if you don't want to. It's fine, Mama. No, I'm just doing this. So I love the grocery list too. I think this is worth a couple dollars a week. Never having to write a grocery list. No, I'm buying or getting the exact amount of ingredients I need for my prep. It is 26 for the classic or clean eating 
and it's 45 for the combo, which is both of those put together if you use the coat tin off. Plus 170 cold punches. Yeah, and you get, it's like 500 in total. You get, yeah, if you grab that combo, you're going to get 500 recipes in total. So they pretty much open up the website and here they're like, here's this, 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 and this. Mm -hmm. But the classic and clean eating, you get instant access to 60 recipes. But don't worry, because the last day of every month, you're going to get 20 new ones. Yes. So right now is the time to hop on because yes. you'll get April's. And May. then you'll get May, June, July. That's true. And you'll get August next week. Yes. I'm behind a month in my head. Silly Billy. Is there any questions before we hop off of here? Again, these are our, my two lunches for the week for Colton. I have the banana and Nutella rolls and the strawberry banana parfait. And both super kid friendly, both super easy. You guys obviously saw me prep them. They're, the lunches are super easy to prep. No, it's quarterly, so that would be three months. $45 for three months. Yes. So you're looking like... Like going and getting like a candy bar twice a week. Yeah, not even that. Not even that. It's like three, three it's like, or four dollars a week. Yeah, it's like a soda and a candy bar yeah. once a week. So it's a three months. It's three months every three months. So I want to um, tell you if you have picky eaters, if you are dairy free, if you are gluten free, if you have the gastric sleeve surgery. All of these, you can still use five dinners in one hour. It is super simple because at the end of the day, they give you the recipes. They give you how to prep it, how to store it, how to cook it. They give you the amounts of the ingredients. But at the end of the day, if you want to do low sodium, if you want to do dairy-free cheese, if you want to do gluten-free pasta, you're going to control the ingredients. They're going to provide you the grocery list. But at the end of the day, you get to pick your own ingredients. So you get to pick the quality of the meat. You get to pick the quality of the soy sauce, the green beans, the fresh produce, all that is going to be up to you. They're just bringing everything to you and taking all the math and the work out of it for you. So, for containers for an adult or for like a teenager, like middle school and up, I would de definitely recommend these, these Sistema. They're kind of, it just depends on what you look if you can find them or not. Some people have found them on Amazon. If you have younger kids, I really like trying to make it to where you can see it. Anything that's like this for a younger kid where it has like a little, some little compartments and then a big compartment for the main spot, a bento box, perfect. And a lot of times, it's because April's trying to get her cookie. Come here. A lot of times nowadays, I don't know what she was going to say, but she was talking about these boxes. But really, whatever you can find to prep in is perfectly fine, whatever you want to use. If you go to the back to school sections in almost any stores, they're going to be there. But if you want, if you have any of the picky eaters, what I was trying to say, go ahead. Is a lot of the times nowadays, because bento boxes are kind of popular again, you can find a lot that are super um, like kid oriented that have lunch boxes that come with them, so you don't have to worry about if it will fit into a lunch box or not. Yep. I think I pretty much said the same thing. Is that what you said? Okay. No, great. that's not what I said. But oh, that's good. <laughs> but um, there is a free community over on Facebook. So when you go to Facebook in the search bar, type in five dinners in one hour community. There is several members over there. You don't even have to be a member to check it out that are showing you their plated food, showing you their prep for the week, showing you what they spent on their prep for the week, if they have picky eaters, uh, what their um, tips are for that. So they're giving other members, other members like mm -hmm. us, are giving you their tips and tricks, how they use the program. So I think that's a great Facebook community. Mm -hmm. So um, look at that community, and I'm sure if you are have picky eaters, dairy-free, gluten-free, mm -hmm. gastric sleeve, anything going on, there are other members over there dealing with the same situation that you got going on. Yes, I know that you guys are talking about mental boxes and stuff. I do like these kind and the one that I show you that have the seals that make them leak proof. Um, if you can find those, I highly, I do highly recommend them. Something that has a seal, and that way everything's in compartments for your kids. And if anything needs to be opened, it's already open, so they don't have to struggle with that at school. Melissa, are you asking about the meal prep system? Because if you are, we are just members. We are yes. not owners. We're just hopping on here as members. 
And I will tell you why I love this. I've been a member for five years because I can go to the website anytime I want to because mm -hmm. I can pick whatever recipes I want to. I get to change the serving size on every recipe I pick. I can do one, I can do 12, I can do 30. It's going to let me pick whatever recipes I want and change the serving size. It's gonna tell me how to prep it and how to store it. It's gonna change the amounts on the ingredients for me on my serving size. So technically I can go to the website, tap on the ones I wanna prep ahead, change the serving size, let it automatically generate my grocery list, shop my pantry, freezer, and refrigerator, hop over, do my online shopping in 15 minutes. I can do all that in 15 minutes. I take one hour a week, prep my dinners, which I'll be doing tomorrow night with you guys at eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. We'll prep my dinners. I'm gonna do mine at a serving size of six, and I can keep my groceries under budget. I do my dinners every week for under $100, and that's why I think there's no other system out there that you get to pick the dinners and you get to pick the serving size and they give you your customized grocery list. I don't think there's anybody else out there like that. Mm -hmm. If there is, I haven't seen them. And that's why I've been sticking around as a member because I love all that. I love knowing what's for dinner also. Yes. And um, you can do this um, for one person. Do a serving size of 1.5, but if you're wanting like, um, lunches or if you're wanting to do it like the same one twice a week i would do a serving size of three and split in half yeah like cook it and then split in half the website is right here in the bio it's five dinners one hour dot com make sure you use the code 10 off and you can pick the classic or clean eating for on sale for 26 dollars or the combo which is 500 recipes they also give you 170 lunch recipes of those 500 and um that one will be on sale for 45 years in that. It is a quarterly membership, so every three months. I'm telling you, I save that much money once a week with using this system. And when you click this lovely little profile right here, make sure to click the bell on the top right, hit all. I don't know if I you whenever anybody on here goes live. Mm -hmm. Also, scroll through some. There are some really good tips. There are some really good meals that you might not have seen or have even thought about prepping. And usually they will post something about the schedule for the week. Yes, they lives. But if they don't, let me go ahead and tell you what the schedule is for the week. Uh, let's see. Did you see Ankofa? Ankofa's here. Tomorrow I'm going to be on at live at 8 o'clock prepping five dinners. And I picked a serving size of six for my dinners, but you could change that up for your family. And then Sunday, Abby's going to be on at 8 o'clock prepping dinners for her family. Tuesday, I'm going to be doing a live cook with you guys at 6 o'clock. I think that um, cook night is the easiest part of the program. It's my favorite. Mm -hmm. You simply pull your ready-to-go dinner out of your fridge and cook it. That is it. You walk away, you put it in the oven, and you walk away, and you come back and plate it. And then Thursday, you want to join me again at 6 o'clock for uh, a live cook. And then Saturday. And then Saturday, we'll be back, you guys. Gina said, I miss Leva. She's a hot mess express today. It's super hot outside, too. Are they all oven mills? No. No, so they have Instapot, Crock-Pot, air fryer, grill. Some skillet. Broil, skillet. Uh, you name it, they have cooking methods across the board. And that goes mm -hmm. to the same thing with protein. Before five dinners went out, we were eating a lot of ground beef, a lot of peas. A lot of ground beef. And a lot of carrots. Now five dinners one hour is like opened us up. We ground chicken, ground turkey, chicken breast, chicken cutlets, chicken thighs, mm -hmm. uh, pork, pork tenderloin, pork chops. And a lot steak. of it is because we weren't comfortable. Yeah, I wasn't comfortable. Before five dinners one hour, I didn't know how to cook seafood and feel confident that it was done correctly. They tell you step by step, easy peasy, how to prep it, how to store it, how to cook it. Here's my ingredients right here in the middle. So right before I prep, we just pull out these ingredients and put them in a little tote so that we can move right along. And there's the grocery list. Shop your pantry, freezer, and refrigerator. Hop over to your online shopping or get it out of the store because they do break it down. Um, the first one is bread, canned, packaged, dairy meat, fresh produce, frozen, and pantry staples. So you can get in and out of the store super fast. Go to exactly what you need and get out of the store. All right. Well, we will see you guys. Yes, tomorrow. all of those were in TikTok. And broiler, yes, thank you. Gina said broiler. I'm sorry, I'm answering all their questions. I don't want to leave them hanging. Uh, I, broiler's my favorite, too. I like to broil. And you can get dinner from the table, from the fridge to the table in 10 minutes with a broiler meal. 
So if you got a fast event coming up that night and you want to get in and out of the house without going through the drive through use a broiler mill. Gina laughed at me. Right, girl? We're just here to have fun. Have fun and show you guys how easy using this system is and how much money it saves us to cut my grocery bill in half. We will see you guys tomorrow night. <laughs> at 8 o'clock. At 8 o'clock. Central Standard Time. Love you too, Gina. And we will be prepping five, five dinners. dinners at Serving Size 6. Yes. So we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. See Bye. you tomorrow at 8.